Twiceland Fantasy Park in Singapore, a fan chanted a gang slogan because he didn't know the fan chant for what is love. You did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? Chanting this slogan in Singapore is an offense punishable by law. So this guy quite literally committed a crime at a Twice concert. A once on Twitter faked having cancer and dying on once Twitter for attention. After the news came out about her supposed death, she was exposed for faking the whole thing for attention. This is because the photos that she used were taken from an actual cancer patient on Instagram. When TWICE arrived in Vietnam to film Carefree Travelers, hundreds of fans showed up to the airport to see them. Unfortunately, they had no security and were unprotected from fans that chose to cross boundaries. Some of these fans chose to reach out and touch them, while others would follow them to their bus. A Korean once took to the internet to document his date with Nyon, where he's seen doing tasks with a cardboard cutout of her. He swore that he wasn't a sasing, and that he's just a regular fan, but it's still creepy nonetheless. A Twitter once by the name of Z to the K is well known for posting scans of twice photo books and has thousands of followers. He was recently exposed for his troubling tweets from 2013 up till now. His tweets include shaming, objectifying, and sexualizing numerous girl group members, including ones that were underage. Jungyeon said he body wave, Nayeon pushed her boob to cover her eyes. The camera detected a face nearby Nayeon's boob. Jungyeon almost touched Nayeon's boob. Look how sexy Chang is. When he made this tweet, Chang was still a minor. Jungyeon the confident queen. Look at her showing off her body. Is this why Jiho asked Jungyeon to wear bikini and bathtub only? Side a sexy heavy breathing. Model proportion body surgery. Chang, I'm so nervous. Jungyeon, it's gonna be okay, don't worry. After surgery, Chang waking up. Wait, where's Jungyeon? Doctor. Who do you think gave you the model proportion body? Love Jong Chae Wee. By the way, Jung Yun's leg is really thin. Jung Yun voice. Jung Yun been eating a lot CD. That's why she gained weight. Tiara weight. Fat, normal, thin. I'm guessing that that's Boram or Soyeon that he's calling fat. The fat Makne? Feels so petty, Tobias Leahy. Leahy is just 16. Feels so petty now, lol. No, you would have been messed by Pedro Bear. Feels so petty for liking Leahy, lol. Oh, little eye, little mouth, little nose. It's so, don't you know? And that's a play on Tiara's lyrics for sexy love. He made racist jokes against Chris Brown and his entourage as well. I'm telling you, as a human being, it is weird. And you look weird, okay? He was only exposed a few months ago. And even though most onces were against him, a whole bunch of people came to his defense despite everything he's done. After a concert, Momo and Dahyun did a V-Live in the car. 
They had to abruptly end the V-Live when they discovered that they were being followed by fans. While Mina was on hiatus, a so-called once acquired Mina's family home address in Japan from asking locals in her area. He rang her doorbell and even left a love letter for her in the mail. Eventually, he was put in police custody and taken to the airport. So, I was just leaving the hotel and the secret police stopped me. They told me that Mina's family is very scared of me at the moment and I was like, seriously? Do I look like a murderer or something? Was this really necessary, Minari? You could have just said no and I would have left. You're scared from me? Am I a monster to you? If I really was a bad person, I would leak your home address. But I won't because I'm a better person than you will ever be. I'm so tired of this gay world. Word? World? I don't know. I'm going to get a... <laughs> I'm going to get a hooker in Osaka. Since I'm a monster after all, I committed the crime of loving someone. Jui went on vacation with her family to Cambodia, also to do some charity work. The hotel that she stayed at allegedly leaked her location to get publicity for the hotel. This led to fans crowding outside her door and disturbing her. Fans bombarded her with a cake for her birthday and sang for her while getting way too close. And the security guard just took pictures of her instead of ensuring her safety. A fan then booked the hotel room right beside hers. And after receiving backlash, they claimed that they were actually invited by the hotel to do work while offering absolutely no proof to that statement. Haha, <laughs> report me, please. I'm come to this hotel for promote their commercial, lol. Just want to let you know that don't try to fight me. I respect all TWICE member and I have a lot of proof that I didn't come here by myself, loser. The management of this hotel invite me, okay? Good night, loser. Oh, please, one more thing. I'm not a stalker like you, stupid fan. Just update everything, like a cat in the dark. And never have a chance to take a photo or talk with them? Poor you. I don't care what you feel, sis. Cause I spent my money, not your money. Flight from Phnom Penh to SR and book the same hotel with her and my room is next to her as well. Anyways, she gave her smile to us and even said, I'm guessing this is hello in the Cambodian language. When Jui left to go to the airport, she was followed by fans all the way there and even into the airport as well. Oh, to me. In 2019, a German man by the name of Josh 
posted a troubling video where he explained his quest to find Nyon and talk to her because he was in love with her and wanted to express that. Please, please, please help me to make sure that Nyon gets to see it. Um, this place, maybe some of you know this place. Maybe this place looks familiar. Um, that's because Nayon made a V Live stream here at this place um, around two and a half years ago, I think. Down there is a studio where they told me that Twice sometimes um, comes there for a photo shooting and um, they, I gave them a note, one of my notes with my Kakaosok ID and my email on there and uh, they told me that they will give it to Nayon when Twice comes here the next time or when she will come here the next time. In December of that year, Twice was on a flight to Japan and Josh boarded the same plane with the sole purpose of getting in contact with Nayon. He tried to get her attention and talk to her on the plane, but he was stopped by Twice's managers. When they held him back, he yelled, Nayon, I love you, in Korean. Twice spent the rest of the flight pretending to be asleep so that he doesn't approach them again. After this encounter, Twice made an Instagram story, which read, Please go back home. Please stop. Please, I beg you. Nyon was then put under police protection, and legal action was to be taken against Josh by JYP Entertainment. Josh claimed that the managers attacked him for no reason, and that his intentions were pure and innocent. He even said he was disappointed in Nyon for not standing up for him. As if things couldn't get any more disturbing, Josh has a twin brother named Julius, who would defend his brother's actions online and even aided him in pursuing Nyon. Dude, you are completely wrongly informed. Firstly, he is not a fan, so why would he act like a fan? Secondly, he's not stalking anyone, nor has he any intention of doing so. He respects her privacy and is a respectful dude in real life. The only one who's disturbing anyone are toxic fans towards him and news outlets spreading fake news to get clicks and get attention. On top of that, Julius was dangerously obsessed with Jui. If Josh can pursue Nyon, then I will pursue Jui. It seems like that was the last time that Josh came in contact with Nyon. Criminal charges and a restraining order was filed against him. Josh even expressed his anger about the fact that Jihyo and Momo were now taken and that if Nyon were to have a secret relationship, he would physically harm her. If she really dates secretly someone else while ignoring me, every sane person would kill her. It would be immoral to let such cruelty alive. But Nyon is not such a cruel monster, so relax. If she would date secretly and keep it a secret from me, it would hurt me so much that I would have to end her life because I would be so hurt, but I'm sure she would never date secretly. She would talk with me first about it. And if she really lets me drown, I have to kill her in the name of justice. Because if she lets someone else dirt like that, do you mean that you will kill her if she does not respect you? And if she ignores her duty to rescue, she's a murderer and deserves death. Sucks. Why will she die? Because she forces me to kill her. I don't know if you get that, but by disrespecting me and ignoring me, she's basically letting me drown. drown. And I will kill her 100% if she dates secretly with my own hands. Because that's what she would deserve. It's a crime. What Jihyo did is a crime. What Momo did is a crime. And that's basically the end of Josh's story. But actually it's not, because there's more. <laughs> Brolock1 found Josh's Twitch account and exposed all the posts that he's made on Twitch up till now. Now, as we can imagine and see in this YouTube comment, uh, Josh fancies Asian girls. 
You can see that in the Twitch shot logs from that previous comment about JAV or the uh, for the uninitiated that stands for Japanese adult video. You can see here him talking about three hour long JAV movie and this one uh, sometimes I the hentai does that make me a weeb? Jab, Dragon Ball, PlayStation 1, and Hirai Momo. So many great things come from Japan. He says, I don't care about law. I'm above the law. I'm a moral being who doesn't need a law. I know what's right by myself. When I was younger, I was never a racist. Hilarious jokes he tells with his uh, Korean skills. Asking different Korean people on Twitch chat how to pronounce this word ends up sounding like the n-word as he, he even states himself and he does this a lot as you can see to throughout the years since 2017 2018 just so many times he says this joke and says so many other weird things that he tries to translate into Korean you need to buy a black painted GTX 1080 Ti because it runs faster get it XD or uh, you know just straight up putting the word in uh, twitch chat or I like KFC and I like watermelons too Wow that's not even funny and you know right here it's okay guys he's he's not racist uh, I had a black friend until my father sold him. Ha 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 ha. I guess uh, if you don't like this, you just can't take a joke, huh? And then, besides that, he also has these uh, Ching Chongs and Asian math dog plus dog equal two meals. Uh, is brushing teeth still a thing in 2018? Haven't done that in ages. I haven't brushed my teeth for like one year and my teeth are perfectly fine. Guys, please always brush your teeth properly. I just realized I have periodontitis. I brushed my teeth like 10 times the last few years. That's what I get for being lazy. So, uh, his bathroom is full of mold. Washes his bed sheets twice a year. Uh, showers like once a week. Uh, wears the same shirt five to six days. Because I only shower every five to six days, but I don't go outside, so I don't need to smell good. He also talks about how little he goes outside. Rarely goes outside. I clean once every few months. It works for me. I was forced to clean one day because all the flies flew in front of my computer monitor. Really annoying. So I had to clean to get rid of the flies. Seeming like he had like a swarm of flies in his room. Uh, knows about age of consent in multiple countries, which is never a good sign. Like 14 legal in Germany, uh, age of consent in South Korea is 13. 16 is legal age in Italy if partner is over 21. Then uh, makes a joke in chat. I want to see kids wrestling. Pedo bear emoji. 16 is fine with me. And then he asks a question for everyone below 18. Everyone. Are you, are you guys scared of naked males slash females? Sucks her, sucks the dead body. Sucks her as long as she is warm enough. How many people were scared? Me too. I was really, really scared.